Hello, Edmond High School students. I'm the librarian, Norman Smith. As you know, the school library renovation started last month, and the library was supposed to reopen by the end of this month. However, making wider reading spaces is taking longer than expected because of some problems with the walls. Therefore, the library reopening will be delayed for a few more days. I'll let you know the date of the reopening as soon as it's decided. Please wait a little more until the library opens again. Thank you for your patience. Hello, Edmond High School students. I'm the librarian, Norman Smith. As you know, the school library renovation started last month, and the library was supposed to reopen by the end of this month. However, making wider reading spaces is taking longer than expected because of some problems with the walls. Therefore, the library reopening will be delayed for a few more days. I'll let you know the date of the reopening as soon as it's decided. Please wait a little more until the library opens again. Thank you for your patience. Brian, you look worried. What's the matter? Mom, I'm trying to make plans for vacation, but it's not easy. Could you take a look? Sure. Hmm. I think you put too many things in your plan. I know, but there are so many things to do. I understand, but you can't do them all in a limited time. Then can you give me some advice? Okay. First, make a list of things to do and then put them in order according to how important they are. You're saying I need to consider their importance first. Right. That way, you'll be able to decide what to include in your plan and what to skip. I understand what you mean. When making a vacation plan, you should consider the importance of the things you want to include. That makes sense. Thanks for the tip, Mom. Brian, you look worried. What's the matter? Mom, I'm trying to make plans for vacation, but it's not easy. Could you take a look? Sure. Hmm. I think you put too many things in your plan. I know, but there are so many things to do. I understand, but you can't do them all in a limited time. Then can you give me some advice? Okay. First, make a list of things to do and then put them in order according to how important they are. You're saying I need to consider their importance first. Right. That way... You'll be able to decide what to include in your plan and what to skip. I understand what you mean. When making a vacation plan, you should consider the importance of the things you want to include. That makes sense. Thanks for the tip, Mom. Welcome. How may I help you? Hi. I'm here to pick up the car that I reserved, but I wonder if I could make a change. Can I have your driver's license, please? Sure. Here it is. Okay. You reserved a small car for three days. Yes. But can I change the car size from small to medium? Let me check. Oh, there's only one medium car you can rent. That's lucky. I'll take it. Okay. By the way, you chose partial car insurance, but for an additional $20, you can have full coverage. That's a great deal. Right. Since you changed the size of the car and upgraded the car insurance, the additional fee is $50. Okay. Here's my credit card. 
Thank you. I'll take you to the car. All right. Thanks. Welcome. How may I help you? Hi. I'm here to pick up the car that I reserved, but I wonder if I could make a change. Can I have your driver's license, please? Sure. Here it is. Okay. You reserved a small car for three days. Yes, but can I change the car size from small to medium? Let me check. Oh, there's only one medium car you can rent. That's lucky. I'll take it. Okay. By the way, you chose partial car insurance, but for an additional $20, you can have full coverage. That's a great deal. Right. Since you changed the size of the car and upgraded the car insurance, the additional fee is $50. Okay. Here's my credit card. Thank you. I'll take you to the car. All right. Thanks. Honey, look at this. My friend Lisa sent a picture of her newly opened book cafe. Wow, it looks great. There's a bookshelf full of books. Yes. Lisa said she has a variety of genres of books. Great. Look, there's a ladder leaning against the wall. That must be for the books on the upper shelf. Right. Also, there are round tables. Yes, visitors can read books while drinking coffee there. Oh, did you notice the two flower pots under the clock? Yeah. Those must be the gifts you sent Lisa for the grand opening. They look nice. I'm glad that they go so well with the cafe. What's that poster on the wall? It says Book of the Month. Lisa said she's going to introduce a popular book on that poster every month. That's great. Why don't we go to this cafe together? Good. Let's go this weekend. Honey, look at this. My friend Lisa sent a picture of her newly opened book cafe. Wow, it looks great. There's a bookshelf full of books. Yes. Lisa said she has a variety of genres of books. Great. Look, there's a ladder leaning against the wall. That must be for the books on the upper shelf. Right. Also, there are round tables. Yes, visitors can read books while drinking coffee there. Oh, did you notice the two flower pots under the clock? Yeah, those must be the gifts you sent Lisa for the grand opening. They look nice. I'm glad that they go so well with the cafe. What's that poster on the wall? It says Book of the Month. Lisa said she's going to introduce a popular book on that poster every month. That's great. Why don't we go to this cafe together? Good. Let's go this weekend. Hello, Anna. Hi, David. How was camping at Sunnyside Hill last weekend? I had a wonderful time with my family. The weather was perfect, and the campsite was fantastic, too. Sounds great. I'm going camping there this weekend. Oh, really? Did you prepare everything you need? I'm still packing. Is there anything you think I really need? Sure. Mosquito spray. There are a lot of mosquitoes these days. Oh, I should bring some. And I'm going to have a barbecue. What do I need for that? Don't worry. You can rent everything related to barbecuing there. That's wonderful. And I recommend a portable speaker 
if you want to listen to music while barbecuing. I'd like to listen to music, but I don't have one. If you want, I'll lend my speaker to you. How nice of you! Thanks, David. Hello, Anna. Hi, David. How was camping at Sunnyside Hill last weekend? I had a wonderful time with my family. The weather was perfect, and the campsite was fantastic too. Sounds great. I'm going camping there this weekend. Oh, really? Did you prepare everything you need? I'm still packing. Is there anything you think I really need? Sure, mosquito spray. There are a lot of mosquitoes these days. Oh, I should bring some. And I'm going to have a barbecue. What do I need for that? Don't worry. You can rent everything related to barbecuing there. That's wonderful. And I recommend a portable speaker if you want to listen to music while barbecuing. I'd like to listen to music, but I don't have one. If you want, I'll lend my speaker to you. How nice of you! Thanks, David. Hello. How can I help you? Hello. I'm looking for a present for my father's birthday. Can you recommend something? Okay. How about these striped neckties? These are the popular styles. They look nice. How much are they? They're thirty dollars each. My father likes blue. I'll take one blue striped necktie. Okay. Anything else? Do you also have men's socks? Of course. Look at these. The original price of each pair is six dollars, but if you buy two pairs, you can get them for ten dollars. Good. Then I'll buy two pairs of socks. Can you gift wrap them? Sure. Gift wrapping usually costs two dollars, but today gift wrapping is free. Cool. Thank you. Here's my credit card. Hello. How can I help you? Hello. I'm looking for a present for my father's birthday. Can you recommend something? Okay. How about these striped neckties? These are the popular styles. They look nice. How much are they? They're thirty dollars each. My father likes blue. I'll take one blue striped necktie. Okay. Anything else? Do you also have men's socks? Of course. Look at these. The original price of each pair is six dollars, but if you buy two pairs, you can get them for ten dollars. Good. Then I'll buy two pairs of socks. Can you gift wrap them? Sure. Gift wrapping usually costs two dollars, but today gift wrapping is free. Cool. Thank you. Here's my credit card. Hello, Rachel. How was the preview of the movie Blue Sky last night? Hi, Mike. I had a great time. After the movie. I got an autograph from the main actor Henry Edward. Amazing! He's your favorite actor. Right. I was so excited to meet him. What did you do last weekend? I wrote a book report at Steve's Cafe. You know that place. Sure. I like the cookies there. You know what? They're going to have a one-day baking class. Oh, really? I'd like to join that class. When is it? This Saturday from one to three p.m. Let's do it together. This Saturday? I'm afraid I can't. Then. Why? Are you still taking swimming lessons on Saturdays? No, I quit recently. This Saturday, 
I'm going to my cousin's housewarming party with my family. Oh, I see. Have a great time. I'll tell you about the class later. Hello, Rachel. How was the preview of the movie Blue Sky last night? Hi, Mike. I had a great time. After the movie, I got an autograph from the main actor, Henry Edward. Amazing. He's your favorite actor. Right. I was so excited to meet him. What did you do last weekend? I wrote a book report at Steve's Cafe. You know that place. Sure. I like the cookies there. You know what? They're going to have a one-day baking class. Oh, really? I'd like to join that class. When is it? This Saturday from 1 to 3 p.m. Let's do it together. This Saturday? I'm afraid I can't, then. Why? Are you still taking swimming lessons on Saturdays? No, I quit recently. This Saturday, I'm going to my cousin's housewarming party with my family. Oh, I see. Have a great time. I'll tell you about the class later. Chris, what are you looking at? I'm looking at the website about the Charity Carol concert. How about going there together? Sounds interesting. Let me see. It's held in the Lincoln Arts Center on December 20th. Right. The New York Symphony Orchestra will play popular carols during this concert. Wow! I'm a big fan of the New York Symphony Orchestra. I knew you'd like it. How much is a ticket for the concert? They're $40 each. Since it's a charity concert, all ticket sales will be donated to the Dream Children's Hospital. That's amazing. We can enjoy the concert and help the children as well. You're right. Let's hurry to buy the tickets. Okay. Wait! It says ticket sales start on December 10th. I see. Let's mark the date so we won't forget. Chris, what are you looking at? I'm looking at the website about the Charity Carol concert. How about going there together? Sounds interesting. Let me see. It's held in the Lincoln Arts Center on December 20th. Right. The New York Symphony Orchestra will play popular carols during this concert. Wow! I'm a big fan of the New York Symphony Orchestra. I knew you'd like it. How much is a ticket for the concert? They're $40 each. Since it's a charity concert, all ticket sales will be donated to the Dream Children's Hospital. That's amazing. We can enjoy the concert and help the children as well. You're right. Let's hurry to buy the tickets. Okay. Wait! It says ticket sales start on December 10th. I see. Let's mark the date so we won't forget. Hello, TCN listeners. I'm Kate Dale. I'd like to introduce the drone photo contest to you. This contest first began in 2017, and the number of participants has increased year by year. Regardless of age, anyone who loves photography and drones can participate in this contest. There will be three categories for pictures, which are animals, people, and nature. Upload your best drone photo to the website www.dronephotocontest.com by November 30th. For the winner in each category, an amazing new drone will be given as a prize. And the winner's photos will be posted on the website as well. Don't miss this opportunity. Stay tuned.
Hello, TCN listeners. I'm Kate Dale. I'd like to introduce the drone photo contest to you. This contest first began in 2017, and the number of participants has increased year by year. Regardless of age, anyone who loves photography and drones can participate in this contest. There will be three categories for pictures, which are animals, people, and nature. Upload your best drone photo to the website www.dronephotocontest.com by November 30th. For the winner in each category, an amazing new drone will be given as a prize. And the winner's photos will be posted on the website as well. Don't miss this opportunity. Stay tuned. What are you searching for, Mindy? Dad, I'm searching for a perfume as a gift for Mom to celebrate her promotion. But I don't know which one to buy. You're such a sweet daughter. Do you want me to help? That would be great. I think it's too much for you to spend over $100. I agree. Oh, there are different scents to choose from. How about the floral scent? She already has a floral perfume. I think you'd better pick one she doesn't have. Good idea. Now, let's decide the size. She usually carries perfume in her bag, so a portable size would be good. Then, 50 milliliters would be a little big to carry. Right. Oh, they come with a free gift. I think Mom would like a pouch more than a hand mirror. Yeah, she has a couple of hand mirrors. Then I'll order this one. Thanks, Dad. What are you searching for, Mindy? Dad, I'm searching for a perfume as a gift for Mom to celebrate her promotion. But I don't know which one to buy. You're such a sweet daughter. Do you want me to help? That would be great. I think it's too much for you to spend over $100. I agree. Oh, there are different scents to choose from. How about the floral scent? She already has a floral perfume. I think you'd better pick one she doesn't have. Good idea. Now, let's decide the size. She usually carries perfume in her bag, so a portable size would be good. Then, 50 milliliters would be a little big to carry. Right. Oh, they come with a free gift. I think Mom would like a pouch more than a hand mirror. Yeah, she has a couple of hand mirrors. Then, I'll order this one. Thanks, Dad. Honey, what are you making? I'm trying to bake some apple pies, but there are not enough apples in the refrigerator. Then I'll go and buy some apples. How many do you need? Ms. Thompson, where are we going for dinner after the conference on Friday? Hmm. How about the seafood buffet on Huston Street? People can choose their favorite food. I tried to go there a few days ago, but it's closed for remodeling. Honey, what are you making? I'm trying to bake some apple pies, but there are not enough apples in the refrigerator. Then I'll go and buy some apples. How many do you need? Ms. Thompson, where are we going for dinner after the conference on Friday? Hmm. 
How about the seafood buffet on Huston Street? People can choose their favorite food. I tried to go there a few days ago, but it's closed for remodeling. John, what are you doing? Hi, Kelly. I'm taking these cups out of their recyclable packaging. That looks different from other packaging I've seen. Yeah, I bought the cups from a zero waste shop, and they packed them using reusable materials. Wow, then there's very little to throw away. Yeah, I'm trying to reduce packaging waste in my daily life. Great. I know the packaging waste problem is getting worse. You can say that again. Zero waste shops recycle packaging waste to create new products. Then we can get new things and reduce waste at the same time. Yes, by shopping at zero waste shops, we can save the environment. I'd like to join you, but I don't know where the zero waste shops are around us. John, what are you doing? Hi, Kelly. I'm taking these cups out of their recyclable packaging. That looks different from other packaging I've seen. Yeah, I bought the cups from a zero waste shop, and they packed them using reusable materials. Wow, then there's very little to throw away. Yeah, I'm trying to reduce packaging waste in my daily life. Great. I know the packaging waste problem is getting worse. You can say that again. Zero waste shops recycle packaging waste to create new products. Then we can get new things and reduce waste at the same time. Yes, by shopping at zero waste shops, we can save the environment. I'd like to join you, but I don't know where the zero waste shops are around us. Hello, Jane. How are you? Hi, Daniel. I'm fine. I haven't seen you at the gym lately. Yeah, because of a new project, I've had a lot of work to do these days, so I couldn't go. I see. Even though you don't have time, you need to try exercising regularly to give yourself a boost. I know I need to, but it's hard to make time. Hmm. Do you still get to work by bus? Yes. It's about ten stops from my place to work. Why do you ask? Well, you could use the commuting time for exercise. How can I use that time to exercise? Normally, I get off two stops in advance and walk either home or to work. That's really effective. Hello, Jane. How are you? Hi, Daniel. I'm fine. I haven't seen you at the gym lately. Yeah, because of a new project, I've had a lot of work to do these days, so I couldn't go. I see. Even though you don't have time, you need to try exercising regularly to give yourself a boost. I know I need to, but it's hard to make time. Hmm. Do you still get to work by bus? Yes. It's about ten stops from my place to work. Why do you ask? Well, you could use the commuting time for exercise. How can I use that time to exercise? Normally, I get off two stops in advance and walk either home or to work. That's really effective. Amy is a high school student. One day, there is an event called Career Day at her school. Students are supposed to choose a career and listen to a lecture about it, but Amy doesn't have a career that interests her. So, Amy just follows one of her friends and attends the lecture of an architect named Mr. Green. 
Mr. Green explains how to be an architect and what architects actually do, which makes Amy interested in it. After the lecture, she wants to learn more about the field of architecture, so Amy wants to ask if she can visit where Mr. Green works and watch him do his job. In this situation, what would Amy most likely say to Mr. Green? Amy is a high school student. One day, there is an event called Career Day at her school. Students are supposed to choose a career and listen to a lecture about it, but Amy doesn't have a career that interests her. So, Amy just follows one of her friends and attends the lecture of an architect named Mr. Green. Mr. Green explains how to be an architect and what architects actually do, which makes Amy interested in it. After the lecture, she wants to learn more about the field of architecture, so Amy wants to ask if she can visit where Mr. Green works and watch him do his job. In this situation, what would Amy most likely say to Mr. Green? Hello, students. Last class, we talked about the differences between stars and planets. Today, I'm going to tell you how the planets in the solar system got their names. First, Mercury is named after the Roman god of travel who moved quickly delivering messages to other gods. Mercury also moves rapidly around the sun, and that's how this planet got its name. Second, Jupiter is the largest planet in the solar system. Because of its size, it makes sense why ancient Romans named it after their most powerful god, the god of the sky. Third, Mars has a reddish color which reminded ancient Romans of blood. Therefore, Mars got its name from the god of war who caused many battles and many people's deaths. Lastly, Neptune is named for the roaming god of the sea. Since the beautiful blue color of the planet looks like the sea, the name is an excellent choice. Isn't it interesting? Now, let's move on to who first discovered these planets. I'll show you a video. Hello, students. Last class, we talked about the differences between stars and planets. Today, I'm going to tell you how the planets in the solar system got their names. First, Mercury is named after the Roman god of travel who moved quickly delivering messages to other gods. Mercury also moves rapidly around the sun, and that's how this planet got its name. Second. Jupiter is the largest planet in the solar system. Because of its size, it makes sense why ancient Romans named it after their most powerful god, the god of the sky. Third, Mars has a reddish color which reminded ancient Romans of blood. Therefore, Mars got its name from the god of war who caused many battles and many people's deaths. Lastly, Neptune is named for the roaming god of the sea. Since the beautiful blue color of the planet looks like the sea, the name is an excellent choice. Isn't it interesting? Now, let's move on to who first discovered these planets. I'll show you a video.